Okay, next phase of this build, we're going to basically be doing the uh, hot shoe to go on the handle. And what I've got for that is I've got another uh, clamp. Uh, I've got uh, some washers here, just as fillers. I've got a uh, cold shoe mount and a uh, quarter 20. I bought this over at, uh, at Ace Hardware, but basically it's a quarter 20 about one inch and that's gonna it basically hold all this together and for this I also uh, use a half inch or excuse me quarter inch drill bit to uh, clear this out uh, basically the threaded side of this I actually just drilled it straight through that way the screw could basically slide in and out and then I could cinch this down in the direction I wanted to um, so it it worked really well for that. Um, so basically, you're going to need a quarter inch drill bit for that, and then the proper size Allen wrench for that because it's a little different size. I also sanded down the uh, the tip of this uh, or the head of the uh, screw, basically so it could fit in where the uh, the original was for the uh, clamp because it's a little bit big but I like that recess head in there, so um, it made it just a little bit cleaner look. So essentially what you're just going to do then is just drop your screw in there. You're going to put on your washers, and I've got uh, one lock washer, two standard washers, just to give enough rise to the, the cold shoe mount here, and that's just going to go on there. And essentially, you know, you're just going to put it on to your slide it on your unit and I have a little too tight make sure I got enough to slip that on and then that just slips on there like that so and then you get it set where you want it you know so you've got it I like it because you've got a little play in the end that's why I left the ends a little long uh, you know you could cut it down once you figure out where everything's going to go, but you know, if you're ever going to adjust it, it's always nice to have, you know, a little extra. So I just tighten that up and that's how you do the, uh, the mounts that go on either side. So I've got one for, uh, my, again, my microphone and one for my, uh, lowly put monitor that I use. So that's, uh, basically, uh, the hot shoe mount. So, uh, the next phase, what we're going to move on to is starting to build out the body off of this, uh, a couple of complex parts, but not too bad. And, uh, we'll go from there. Hello, here we're going to build the head unit, uh, for our DSLR rig, basically, uh, that's where we're going to put our slide uh, mount for our camera and our map box if you decide to use one of those. Basically, we're going to have uh, three clamps of the larger four uh, spacer clamps and then a two spacer clamp. We've got two of those. You're going to need your Allen wrench and then you're going to need a quarter inch drill bit with your drill for that. And we've got two 30 millimeter screws and we have four end caps that came with the tent poles that I got, uh, basically two sets, so that gave me four. Um, and from there, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of assemble that. Okay, here we're going to <clears throat> start the build out of the head. Uh, actually, the drill bit you're going to want to use for this is going to be 730 seconds, a little bit smaller than quarter inch. But essentially, I drilled out the uh, the threaded side on these two part clamps uh, basically get the uh, cleared out so I could easily slide these straight through because I didn't want any thread on there so everything could clamp together the only threads you want are on this back plate so don't drill out these uh, <clears throat> essentially what's going to happen is you're going to have these that are going to mount up like this and then you're going to drop your 30 millimeter screws through the unit and I'm going to press a little closer here if you can see that but they're going to go through and basically thread into <clears throat> this crosswise so see if you can see that so they're going opposite direction and this is what's going to mount 
your top rails into your handle going across. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my handle over here uh, so I can do that. And you're going to want to obviously do this onto the handle. So I'm going to take these off. So it might be a little awkward to put it on, but get it in there. Essentially, it's going to go up like this. So I'm going to take these, put one of these up underneath, <clears throat> and then uh, take a screw, slide that up in there. So I've got the screw popped up. I've got just the other one sitting here. Then this unit, the double unit here with the threaded side up on the very top, that's going to go there. So I'm just going to get that cinched in just enough to hold it. And then I'm going to do the other side. So I got two of them. The recess part goes on the very bottom. And I have that come up. And that just kind of screws up into there. So that will basically be your, your connector. So I'm going to cinch this up. And actually I've gone too far because I'm going to have to get my cross bars in there. So, you're going to want to leave that <clears throat> just a little loose because you're going to have to get your crossbars in here that are going to go across the top. And then these here, which are your crossbars, to basically where your, um, your slide mount for your uh, camera is going to go. Those are going to go right there. And these are 10 and a half inches long. So that's how long these units are. And I have these stick out uh, an inch and a half, is what I think I've got on there. An inch and three quarters, actually. So I just want to make sure that I'm at about inch and three quarters sitting out from the face of that. And if you can't quite see that, I'm sorry, but. So, and, uh, that's the distance in front of the plate that I've got here. Inch and three quarters, so now I can cinch this down. So everything gets locked into place and it locks it uh, in here and I've kind of centered it between the uh, two. <clears throat> so that way, tight that down. You don't want to crank it too much because these, uh, these fiberglass poles, they can crack if you really crank it down, but they're nice and tight. They're not going anywhere. So that's that part. <clears throat> Next I've got uh, another clamp. Uh, have the original bolts in it, but I also screwed right through the center of it, basically through the meaty part of the clamp, drilled a quarter inch hole to hold a four or a quarter twenty uh, screw, one inch screw, and that's going to just slide basically through there. Um, <coughs> excuse me, and that's going to hold your uh, your mounting plate for your camera. So that's going to go on next. Uh, that'll just slide on. And then basically you want to get that, I think I have that about three inches out. Uh, roughly, you know, you're going to adjust it based on your camera and the needs for your camera. And I'm basically just cinching up those so that's locked in place. And then on the final one, on the very end, and pop that down. Uh, but <clears throat> I basically, uh, I'm going to just pull out that screw because it's going to fall out for right now. I'm going to have two at the end and I leave five eighths of an inch right here. So I'm going to bring that up to about five eighths. <clears throat> That's going to where I just want to kind of have my tips sitting up. So that is just going to go on there like that. So that's basically where my mounting plate will go. Then essentially what I can do is I can just come in here with my <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, got a little cough there. Uh, coming under here with my quarter 20 uh, nut or screw. That's just going to slide through here. And then on the bottom of my plate here, which is a Monfrotto uh, 357, I believe. That's just going to basically screw right into the bottom of that. You just want to get straight and then nice and tight. Let me, uh, Grab a screwdriver for that. Let's 
sorry, I had to grab a screwdriver off the wall. Forgot to grab one for this. Um, but essentially, just, you know, get nice and straight on there and then crank that down. And that makes it nice and tight. <clears throat> it's not going anywhere. So that's where your mounting plate's gonna be. Uh, I have these caps that came with the tent poles. Uh, I put these on the back side just to clean that up. So those go right there. Now, <clears throat> a lot of you are like, well, that looks like a 15 millimeter mat box. Uh, it is, it's a standard size for 15 millimeter, millimeter rails and 60 inch uh, spacing. <coughs> Excuse me, I just happen to be lucky enough that uh, if once you loosen these up, it's just enough to slide on there. So, I mean, you can see a little movement in, in there, but if you tighten these up, it, it's, you're getting just enough spacing on there. And I take these extra caps that I have and push these onto the front, and basically it locks it in place. Um, there's just a little bit of space of movement in there, and actually what I would just do is loosen these up so I can move that back so it's nice and tight and it won't move anywhere. Um, that's the best way to do it. And then it, it work, completely functions like it normally would. So you still have the height adjustment on there and such for your, your lens, uh, depending on the height of the lens off the, uh, the base unit here. So that actually works pretty well. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. You know, you just gotta cinch it up and it'll get nice and tight. You could also have an extra speed clamp that you, uh, or one of these clamps. You could put that in there and push it right up against there and lock it in and it's not gonna move at all. So uh, that's the other option. I just happen to use these cause then I can pop it off real easy and then move my mat box over to uh, my uh, cage rig, which you can kind of see in the background here. Um, so that's my other unit and that, that way I don't have to have multiple mat boxes. Um, so that's the front end build and next we're going to go into the back end build where the shoulder uh, mount is.